This is the second part of the lesson coding equations. In this section, we will learn how to find the solution of a quadratic equation by using factorization method. So here in exercise 4.2, section B, question number 1, from figure 1. The question is x square minus 5x minus 10 equals to 0. We have to find the value for x which satisfy this condition by using the method of factorization means x square minus twice x minus 10 will be factorized and from this factorized form of x square minus twice x minus 10 we have to get the value for x so in order to get a factorized x square minus twice x minus 10 we will split minus twice x into two parts so to split minus twice x into two parts we will Multiply the coefficient of x squared with minus 10. So the coefficient of x squared in this equation is 1 and multiply with minus 10. We have the answer is minus 10. So search to a number when multiplied will be minus 10 and then subtracting will be minus 3 to split minus twice x. So that number will be x squared minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equals to 0 because minus 5 into 2 is minus 10 and minus 5 plus 2x is minus 3x now taking out the common factor let's take out the common factor from the first term and the second term we see here we have a common factor of x so take out x as a common factor and we have x minus 5 from the first and second term plus take out 2 as a common factor from here then 2 x minus 5 equals to 0 now we see x minus 5 is a common factor again so x minus 5 take out the common factor then the factor x plus 2 remain from the first part and second part so that's how we factorize x squared minus 5 x minus 10 equals to 0 is x minus 5 and x plus 2 equals to 0. So from this line, we'll apply the condition that is let or if. If we apply if x minus 5 equals to 0, x equals to 5. Again, if x plus 2 equals to 0, x equals to minus 2. So these are the two values of x we satisfy this given equation and we find the answer for or the value for this x by using splitting the middle terms and then factorize the given equation that's how we solve an equation a quality equation by factorization question number two the question is 2x squared plus x minus 6 equals to 0 like the previous question we have to factorize and then get the value for x so to factorize let's multiply the coefficient of x squared which is 2 and then multiply with the constant number minus 6 then we have the answer is minus 12 so search two number when multiplied will be minus 12 and then subtracting will be 1 the two number when multiplied will give minus 12 and the subtracting will give 1 is 3 and the 4 so 2x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 equals to 0 taking out the common factor of 2x from the first and second 2x then we have the factor x from the first term and then the factor 2 from the second term minus 3x minus 6 also has a common factor of uh, minus 3 and take out minus 3 and we have x plus 2 equals to 0 we see again x plus 2 and x plus 2 is a common factor so x plus 2 take out the common factor then 2x minus 3 equals to 0 like before apply the condition of if or let if x plus 2 equals to 0 x equals to minus 2 we got the value for x is minus 2 and from here twice x minus 3 equals to 0 2x equals to 3 by then x equals to 3 by 2 
So these are the two values of x. Question number three. The number of 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 root 2 is 0. So here the constant term is 5 root 2. Coefficient of x squared is root 2. So multiply the square root of 2 with 5 root 2 and we have 5 into 2 which is 0. Because the number of 2, square root of 2 multiplied with the square root of 2 is square root of 4 which is same as 2 and 5 into 2 is 10. So finding all two numbers when multiplied will be 10 and then adding will be 7. We have root over of 2x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 5 root 2 equals to 0. Plus 5 plus 2 because 5 plus 2 is 7 and the 5 into 2 is 10. Taking out the common factor of square root of 2, the factor x remains from here and the factor the number of 2 remains from here. Because square root of 2 multiplied with the square root of 2 is square root of 4, this make 2. The 5 and the 5 again here, take out these two common factor, 5 then x plus root 2 equals to 0. Again taking out x plus root 2 and x plus root 2, Now from here apply the condition for if. If x plus root 2 equals to 0, x is minus root 2. Again from here, if root over of 2x plus 5 equals to 0, x equals to minus 5 by square root of 2. So these are the two values of x which satisfy this question again. Like that you have still some more questions to be solved. Now I have solved three questions, based on the remaining questions, try to solve by oneself and see your understanding.